to another vlog right about now I just came back to my favorite place in the whole wide world welcome to Nice yeah. Nice has always been like one of my favorite spots that I've been to in a long time last time I was here was actually in 2019 right before COVID happened and I always told myself man if I ever get the opportunity to come back I will be back. I'm here for a few days and I'll be visiting the south of France. Love the south of France way better than I would going to Paris and stuff, even though I've been there a few times. So this is just, you know what I mean? I'm already, can't you see I'm glowing already? It's hot though, I know. I complain on this channel a lot about being Mission number one is actually get to the Airbnb and uh, we'll take it from there. If you stay ready, you don't gotta be ready. Yeah. I figure I'm gonna walk to my Airbnb. Um, 15 minutes away. See if I can check in early, they haven't responded. But they sent me the instructions, so I'm gonna finesse it. <laughs> Come on, man, what do you expect? What do, what do you really expect? I'm not gonna sit around and wait. Off the body stretching out your pinstripes. Got so much to tell you, come on inside. He was MIA from the invite. The key is not in the mailbox. I guess I can't check in early. <sighs> This day does not get any better. Let me get something to eat. Apparently, if you are in France, you have to try the kebab. This thing is huge too. Got the key. Time to go check into the Airbnb. One thing about these elevators here, they're gonna be small. I just check into the Airbnb, man. See, one thing I wish this Airbnb could have gave me is an early check-in. I'm hot, I've been sweating all day, I gotta sleep, I'm tired. Take a break for now. See, right now I'm in knee still. Yesterday, man, I had to just take the rest of the day off. I was exhausted. Yo, traveling is fun, but traveling is also very, very, very taxing. With the Airbnb situation, is I got here at 10 o'clock. I was originally I was supposed to get here at 10 o'clock. Flight got delayed in New Jersey, so I got here at noon. The check-in was for 4 p.m. So I was hoping to get in before then, but I literally got the keys 10 minutes before. By the time I got in and get set up and everything, I was exhausted. So I was done for the uh, for the rest of the night. Today's mission is I got a massage scheduled about five o'clock, which is uh, closer to the old niece. I'm enjoying my breakfast and then um, we'll take it from there. This is what $100 per night uh, get you at an Airbnb right here uh, in Nice. I got this balcony over here. I usually come out here trying to shoot, but literally right close to the airport. So it's very, 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 very noisy. I don't know if you can see it. Somebody was actually having a wedding down here. I think they're gone now. Yeah, they have left the building. So you get this big balcony, come out here, have your little breakfast. Right now we got the kitchen, nice size kitchen, all renovated. Got a washing machine, which is crucial. So one tip is that when you're traveling, don't bring as much clothes. I know people bring like 30 outfits or whatever it is. Bring enough outfits so you can just wash it and dry it so you can actually travel very lightly. I actually, when I was coming here, 
It took me about any 35 minutes from getting to the airport to getting to my gate. Like it was super quick. This is the dining area, AKA uh, the editing room, AKA gear and stuff like that. This is probably where I set up. Last night I actually slept on the couch just because I was trying to watch TV and I was exhausted. So that's the living area. They also have this room in here couch for people to sleep in and stuff, but you know, it's just extra room for no reason, I guess. Uh, I just wanted something comfortable. The bathroom, nice, modern, freshly done. It's a little messy. One of my uh, cologne bottle actually broke. So good thing it was actually in a Ziploc bag or else it probably would have ruined my whole suitcase. Bedroom here, nice, comfy bed. One thing I noticed here, they have these little things to open up. I don't know what they call, like security blinds or whatever, but this is so high up. I want, I don't know why anybody would try to come up and try to steal or rob you, but they have them in Nice everywhere I want. So this is actually the first Airbnb that I'm gonna be staying at. Uh, then in a couple of days, I'm going to Saint Tropez, I'm renting a car. Driving to Central Pay, that would be actually dope to even show you. Um, Cause in that space, I booked sort of like a cottage kind of stay. I didn't want to be in the city. I do like remote areas and stuff like that. And then I'm back in Nice, but I'm staying in a different apartment. So this is what $130 per night gets you right here in Nice. Now I got to get ready. Cause I actually have to leave the house in like 10 minutes. to the bus stop. Yeah, I think the bus is coming. These people wallet, yo. It's run over for no reason. So I was told to, we are in the massage room. It's massage time, but I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna really enjoy my little hour. Having a great time. I'll see y'all in a bit. Guys, I just finished my massage, it was completely amazing. So if you're ever in Nice, I'm gonna put all the information in there. And he used to live in Canada, which is dope. Can you give him your name and where in Nice? Gerard, we are Nice, Trois Rue uh, Mossa. La Rue Mossa, close to the Promenade des Anglais. Very nice area. Natural center, health center. Nice, I love this. So like I said, I'll put the details in there. You guys can check him out and let him know. Miss activated sent And he's gonna bring me a bottle of wine, eh? Yeah, next time I'm back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sarge's mission is accomplished. So two things for today are completely done. Uh, last thing I gotta do is actually go find something to eat. I haven't eaten all day, I just realized. Stay tuned for the rest of the adventure right here. South of France, baby. I mean, I'll see y'all in a bit. Good morning to everybody. Uh, welcome back to another day on the vlog, of course, that I'm probably gonna head out in a bit and, you know, sort of go explore the city. I'm actually leaving Nice and driving about uh, an hour west to a city called saint Pay. one of the most incredible drive I've ever, ever been on. So I'm gonna go get ready and then um, I'm gonna get this day started. Ladies and gentlemen, I made it over to Central Pay, baby. I'll take you down to my Airbnb. Put you down that path. That's my window. And I'm gonna take you on a mini tour. I just met the Airbnb lady. She was grateful, she was nice. And uh, this time I'm gonna be staying for the next, there you go, a little bit more light. So as you can see, the bedroom upstairs, I just brought over all the groceries, leftover stuff that I had from the up first place into the kitchen. Funny enough, I have similar countertop in Toronto. Just gotta play around with the light. I mean, closet, everything else, good. And then the best feature of the house, right here. This is 2021 Beaujolais. I have no idea what that means, but you know, wine is cheap in French, so. I know nothing about wine, so I just drink. 
Anyways, down here, Airbnb owner showed me the place. It's very nice, cute. Obviously, the selling feature is the this little Zen terrace that they have. They'll open right into the living room, as you can see. I was gonna show you the other way, but it's just too dark. It wouldn't make sense. You guys wouldn't be able to see anything. What I'm gonna be doing here for the next three days. So the goal is to just go in and walk around town and, and then figure that out. Last time I was here, I literally spent the day. So I drove to Central Pay and back to Nice within the day. So I didn't really get to explore anything. Uh, but you know, I broke down my vacation to several days and then I'll be able to spend a couple of days here and actually get to see a little bit more of the city that I didn't get to see. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired. We'll take a break for now. Best city in the world. It's just too sunny. I don't even know if you can see me now. Right now I'm on my way to go grab something to eat. Everything is small here, so. so my thing in the trunk. All right, let's get this day started. Ladies and gentlemen, I made it to the beach side. See, that's the that was the restaurant, the spot that I just ate at. Yeah, I got my sandals on. You know, I'm a real beach guy. You see the hats. And hopefully I can get into the water. I, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get in the water, but... I don't even know if I can film up here because it is a nude beach. Everybody out here Especially the old people. Oh my God. This is a first. I think I should turn off the camera for now. I'll show y'all a little bit of the scenery. Maybe this is as much as I could show you right now. Everybody's butt naked out here, so I can't really, I'm surprised nobody ran up on me and asking me, yo, why are you filming us? This is actually one of the main reasons why I came to South of France is just, I don't know, man, it's just something, it's something about this place, man. I need to get my money up so I could buy something up here. All right, time to get naked too and jump in the water. All right, mission Saint-Tropez accomplished. Right about now, I'm headed to Monaco. to Monaco and I guess now I gotta find my way to the downtown core and then figure out where all the nice cars and everything is. Oh man, that's a lot of money in here. Look at this. Look at that. Mission one right now, I'm at the mall, Centre Commercial and I'm on my way to find the casino, the famous place where all the fancy cars. So apparently I own a house here that I didn't even know about, you know what I mean? I don't know if you can see the name. One thing about this place is it's all rocky and hills. So you'll be doing a full-fledged workout. Just trying to get to, from place A to place B. So everybody's out here. This is Tour Central. Everybody got the camera out, trying to figure this out. But it's a lot of money in here for sure. For sure. Last time I came, the, there was none of this set up. I think they set it up for the Grand Prix, which is obviously, if you ever heard of Monaco, you heard of the Monaco. F1 
driving series. I mean, this is almost perfect weather. It's hot. It's a lot of beautiful people here. A lot of money in the air. You know what I mean? Trying to come up here. Apparently, they give you a stamp into your passport, but it's closed. I'd have got a stamp. It's almost like a visa. It says you have made it to Monaco. Monaco is one of those cities. I mean, it's great to see visually and all, but there's not really much to do unless you're here to spend a lot of money and so on. So I'm back to Nice tonight, and then I got a couple more days before I head back. Let me pay attention before I get run over. Can you believe it? Today is the last day. I'm actually right now packing up my stuff um, and I'm headed to the airport. You know, I'm gonna let y'all know as soon as I get to the airport, how the whole thing went. Going through security, made it to the gate and uh, I'm gonna call this I'm gonna call it a wrap on the vlog. And I think uh, traveling is tricky, man. Like, you're trying to explore a space for like 10 days. Even though this time around I was a little, I was here a little bit longer and I got to stay in certain cities a little bit longer than I did last time. It's just like, man, it's just not enough. In groups one, two, and three on British Airways. Uh, stay tuned for more vlogs and most videos coming up in this channel, of course. And you've officially been activated. Peace.